this is Michelle and I'm here today to share with you my second design team project using Echo Parks America Paper Line. This is my design team project for Country Craft Creations and um, although I'm not using the 6x6 paper pad I wanted to show you this is the package that I got and um, today we'll be using the 12x12 papers that I uh, received in the design team package but this is Echo Parks America line and it's really really super cute and just in time for 4th of July I wanted to create a decor project and then um, I have one more project to come to follow that so um, But today we're going to use 12 by 12 papers and what we're going to create are these really awesome um, Bunting uh, Pieces so I've already created two we're going to do the third one on camera um, again this will take the 12 by 12 papers and this project is really super simple and really easy and uh, the good thing about it is each of the buntings here only require one piece of 12 by 12 cardstock and I used red artisan cardstock from Country Craft Creations and then one piece of pattern paper and really it's it's easy there's a few folds and then that's just about it um, to create it so then I used this 3 by 4 cut apart from the collection to put on it and I backed it with some uh, cardstock again the artisan cardstock um, navy I want to say it's called it's a darker blue and then I added some flowers from my stash and um, these little guys here are stickers from the paper collection that I got and I'll show you the sticker sheet here they had a bunch of really tiny little stickers so I thought I would add those to the project and I popped them up with a little bit of pop dot to give them a little bit of dimension and then I also put these big flat back gems on there to decorate it. So you could decorate this however you want. Um, I did this pretty simply, but you could uh, edge these with your scissors or um, you know punches or whatever you wanted to do. I chose not to do that, um, but you definitely could. Um, there's a lot of different um, things that you could do with this. So anyways, this is the first one. So this is Life, Liberty, and the Pursuit of Happiness. And then this one here is American Made. And again, um, flowers from my stash. I popped up some of those little tiny stickers from the collection, put the flat back gems on there, and created this. Now, how cute is this? I added the ribbon, um, and this is how they're going to attach to each other. And I'll show you how I did that um, today in the tutorial. And then um, when I'm done with all of this, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna finish it, hang it up, and then I will share pictures at the end of the video of what it's gonna look like in my dining room. I have another banner that I had made years ago. I wanna say in 2012, maybe it's even older, um, but this is going to hang in my dining room. And if you've watched my other videos, you know that I decorated my table and I made a tiered um, tray that's decorated for 4th of July and then this is going to add to the rest of the decorations in my dining room. So um, let's get started with this. I'm going to put these aside and um, we're going to get our paper. So each of the pieces only require one piece of 12 by 12 pattern paper. You really need to have it double sided and um, honestly uh, just kind of double check the direction because the paper is going to end up being folded like this. So you want to make sure that if there is a right side to something that you have it the way you want it to go. So my banner, um, this piece is going to go like this. So the banners at the bottom will be in the correct position. Um, and then you need one piece of 12 by 12 um, cardstock. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our cardstock here and put it in our... Um, scoreboard and we're going to do some scoring. Let me grab my phone folder here. So um, we're going to do um, a score at every three quarter inch mark. Okay. Um, I'm, I did, what I did was, this is probably the simplest way to do it, um, is go down and I scored every three quarters of an inch. So it's um, at three quarters, it's at one and a half, two and a quarter, and three, okay? And then we go to three and a quarter, four and a half, five and a quarter, and six, okay? Then six and three quarters, seven and a half, eight and a quarter, move my board here, nine, 
nine and three quarters, ten and a half, and eleven and a quarter. Okay, so every three quarters you want to mark. Then what you're going to do is what this is what I did. I flipped it over, and what I'm going to do is score every other line. And the reason why I'm going to do that is when you fold an accordion, you really want the score lines to be proper to the way that you're folding it. Okay, so. What we're going to do is we're going to skip this first one and we're going to start at the one and a half and we're going to score that again so that that way the score line goes the direction it's supposed to go. When you score, you're actually, you're kind of, um, kind of breaking the fibers and you're training them the way they want to go and then that's going to be how you fold it. So we're going to do every other fold in an accordion style. Um, so that's why you want to do this. Okay. So skip the first one that you did and then just, um, because we scored it on the other side, you're basically going to have it. So you don't have to do a lot of thinking about the measurements, just go every other one. So we'll do one and a half and then we'll skip one and then we'll do it at three and then we'll skip one and we'll do it at four and a half, skip one, do it at six skip one, seven and a half, skip one, nine, skip one, and then we'll go ten and a half, and then we're done. So you should have another score line here that we did on the other side left over, okay? So once you do that, then let's get rid of our scoreboard here, and then I'm going to go to my cutter, and you're going to cut this at six inches, and cut it across so that you have two strips of all these scores, okay? So let me go to my cutter. Let's do that really quick. I'm going to drop that on the floor while I'm at it. My craft room is an absolute mess right now. I have been doing a lot of stuff. I've been um, getting stuff ready for swaps that I'm in and I've been playing with my projects so I've got my mess my, my craft room is an absolute mess okay so now we have two pieces that are the same so take one of these pieces and grab your scissors wherever I put them where did I put my scissors let me go find them hold on okay found my scissors all right so on one of these only we're going to cut one of these pieces off and we're going to save it because we're going to use it as part of the construction of the bunting okay so just cut one of those pieces off all right then following our score lines we're just going to fold this in the direction that they go and make your accordion okay and then I didn't go crazy, um, you know, with bone folders and, and that. I just finger pressed it, which is just fine. Just make sure when you start your folding, you fold in the direction of your score lines. All right. Like that. Okay. And then um, the other reason, so then the other thing is that when you do your scores opposite, you get a really nice even um, pleating when you do this. If you keep doing it on the same side and then you do that, you can, you know, do it, but sometimes you'll get a crooked pleating and this way it's really, really even, okay? So then we're going to attach these two pieces together. So you're gonna have one piece that's gonna have an end sticking up like this and then you'll have this piece here. This is the one we cut a piece off of. And then you'll have this one here that has kind of the V's um, right here. So we're just going to attach that to that and make one long accordion. So I'm just going to grab my art glitter glue here and put some glue on this bad boy. And of course, every time, right, the glue is stuck. So let's try that again. So just add some glue here. Come on, glue. There we go. Okay. Grab my gauze here too. Sorry about that. All right. And then I'm just going to simply glue this together. 
don't get it into the fold, you know, because we want it to fold or, you know, pleat again, nice and neat. Should be nice and glued here. So. All right. So now we have we have one nice long piece. Okay. And this will be this is six inches wide now. So then what we're going to need to do is we're need, going to need to attach it so that it will stay in that um, bunting shape. Okay, so that's where this piece comes in. So I'm just going to simply fold this in half. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it together. And that's going to give it some strength. And then this is going to be how this will attach and keep the shape. So I just added a little glue. This is so super easy and simple. And it doesn't take very long at all. I whooped a couple of those out like really super fast. And in this tutorial, I'm, I, I'm making the one on camera and I've only made three. So it only took three pieces of cardstock and three pieces of pattern paper. Um, you can make this as big as you want. But for my window here, um, I decided that three was probably enough, especially since I have the other ones and I'll show you those. So you want this to fold down at the top and grab your piece here and about halfway just add some glue there's really no measuring on this one just add some glue and then what we're going to do is we're just going to attach it to the underside here like so okay and then we can grab a couple clips here to hold it while it dries a little bit if you want and then we're going to put some glue on this side and we're going to do it the same way. Now this is just, it gets a little fiddly here, but it will work. And just try and squish it together as best you can. And again, like I said, it's a little bit fiddly. You have to kind of, um, not force it, but you have to, whoops, you have to kind of push it together. Okay. And then let that dry. And then when that dries, that will hold that bunting shape, okay? All right, so that's where we put it on the underside, okay? And this will get glued down too, so that will also help keep the shape. But that's going to keep it keep the shape for um, the next part of the process. So then what we're going to do is we're going to set this aside, and then we're going to grab our 12 by 12 paper. Now, um, you can use anything you want in order to create a circle shape um you could use your cricket you could use you know a compass you could use you know um, cutting tool if you have it um whatever you wanted to do i went kind of a, an easy route and what i did was i grabbed my dinner plate which measures about 10 and a quarter inches across so you want to go uh probably 10 inches would probably be um you know, maybe the minimum in order to get, you know, kind of an even spacing in between your pieces. Um, so, but this one is 10 and a quarter and it worked just fine. So if you had like 10, 10 and a quarter, it'd be perfect. Okay. Um, so I just grabbed my plate and my handy dandy pencil and I put this down and I tried to get it close to the edge um, so I could save this part of the paper for something else and just take my pencil and drew a line around it okay and draw lightly and then you can erase it and then i just cut it out so again if you want to use your cricut or your silhouette um something like that you could totally do that i um i just didn't feel like digging up my machine to do that so i just did my handy dandy plate and it worked great so then take this and then cut it out and then, yeah, just be very careful. One of the things that um, I was taught way back when was to try and move the paper instead of trying to move your scissors when you're doing cuts like this. It seems to kind of help a little bit to keep your scissors more steady and then rotate the paper in it. Um, but however, you know, it works for you. 
obviously, is the best way to do it. So I'm just kind of keeping my hands steady as much as I can, cutting on that pencil mark. All right, almost there. There, okay, so now we got our scissor, or uh, our circle piece, and then I'm gonna grab my um, eraser and I'm just gonna go along the edges and just make sure that all my pencil marks are off. You could, depending on the papers that you use, you know, you could ink the edges of this. You could also use, you know, <laughs> decorative scissors if you still have those. Um, I have a drawer full of them. I could have done that, but I went um, a little simple on this project. So, so then um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay this down and then we're going to, you know, fold this and find the center. So make sure that you have the paper the way you want it. Um, if we do it with this side showing first at the very bottom, then if we fold it like this, this is gonna be upside down. So I don't want that. So I want it to be like this and then we'll fold this over, okay? So just find out where exactly you want this to be and then just simply fold it in half. And then we're gonna grab our scoreboard and make a couple scores here, okay? So just fold it in half. And then what I'm gonna do, and I, I just really kind of finger pressed it. And then what I did was I put that score that I made in my scoreboard and I lined it up. I put a red mark, you can see this, a red mark down the six inch here. And then that way I could line up scores. And then I could go over it again and then just make sure that I get a nice pretty fold, okay? So then while I'm doing that, then what we're gonna do is we're going to put it, put it down back in the scoreboard. We're gonna open it up. This is going to be, um, or excuse me, this is going to be the bottom where we're gonna show it. And we're gonna put some more scores onto the right side of the score line we just did. So line it up again in your scoreboard, have your, your scores there. And this is this is really helpful when you fold it in half to find the half if you don't have like a, a perfect, um, you know, like circle just to find the midpoint. It makes it perfect every time. So anyway, so my midline here is lined up. This is going to be the bottom. We're gonna score on the right side here. We're gonna score at three quarters past that six inch mark. So we're gonna score at six and three quarters and then one two three we're going to score at seven and a half so two scores that are three quarters i hope that makes sense so we have our midline score here and then one past that at three quarters so that in if you line it up at six inch mark it'd be six and three quarters and then another one at seven and a half i hope that makes sense okay so then what we're gonna do is we're going to fold it at that second middle mark that we made. And then what that's gonna leave you is you should have a score here, three quarters from that mark, and then your score, your midline score here, okay? So you should have a shape like that. And then we're going to fold it back on itself with those other two scores. So you're gonna end up with a piece that looks like this, okay? And that is all the scoring we're gonna to have to do for that. So then this piece is going to, find my other piece, this is gonna fold over the top edge of your piece. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to just add some glue and we're gonna add some glue to that three quarter inch mark here and to the smaller circle here. Okay, and then we're just gonna refold all that and glue it down so it's not floppy. Okay, so you should have a piece that looks like this. Okay, see how cute that turns out? And especially with the pattern paper, it's really cute. So um, this guy, so then the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna attach it to this and we're just simply going to 
um, glue it down and we will center it and honestly I eyeballed it a little bit but we'll center it we'll glue it down and then we're gonna add um, a little bit of glue on the top edges of these just to kind of hold it down okay so we'll take our glue and we'll put it here okay and then like I said I'm gonna just kind of eyeball it here um, center wise because it will depend on the size of the circle that you use so just try to get it as centered as possible here okay and then I'm adhering it to this top edge okay so you can see that so it's on the top there And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip this up and I'm going to add some glue really carefully to some of these ridges here. And then that will help hold that paper down. And it worked really, really well on the other two that I did. It just takes a little bit of patience and kind of a slow hand. But this will also help keep the shape of your banner or your pennant, your bunting, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> I guess it's a bunting. Okay. It's okay if you make a mess. Nobody's going to see underneath it. This is just to help the top stick down a little bit. Let's try and get it on top of those scores. All right. So then all I did was then I just pressed it down, turned it down, and then I just kind of pressed it down. And then that ought to take care of that. All right. All right. So that will dry, and that will stick down really well. Okay? So there we have the base piece. So then... Um, in order to attach it, so what I did was, um, the other two, this one's gonna be in the middle because I liked the wood grain and that's the only piece that I had wood grain in. So I'm gonna use that in the middle. So what I did was on the one, the sides that are gonna tie um, to hang, I took one yard of this ribbon and put it on this side and I glued it um, underneath and I'll show you how to do that in a minute. And then I got another piece that was about half of that, about 16 inches I think is what I used, and um, used that. This is what's going to attach here to the middle, and then the other one on the other side, I used another 16 inch piece and that will attach you know, to the other side and that's what will hang. And then on the other side of this is my big string so or big uh, ribbon so that I could um, tie it. So I didn't know how long I was going to need, so I just used an entire yard of it. Um, but how I attached them was that I took this and I really wanted to make sure it stuck. And I um, ended up, what I did was I thought, well, I'll just go with what I did. <laughs> I'll just go with what I did. So I took. I'm going to put this here. So this one is going to be the side with the long string. So I'm going to put that here. Here's the one we just made. And then here's my other one that's going to go on the other side. So I'll put that here. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a whole bunch of glue to this underside here. Down in the crack. We're going to just... Put lots of glue. We want to make sure it sticks really good. Okay, so a little bit up there, but most of it on here. Okay, and then I took my ribbon and I laid it down. And this gets a little fiddly too, but I laid it down in there. Made sure it was nice and straight, and I, I put a lot in there because I actually, I tried a different, a cup, well, I was thinking of a different way of doing it, and I wanted to make sure it was going to stick really good. Um, 
so it's okay. You, If you come up with a different way of doing this, you can um, do that, but this is how I did it. Okay, and then what you're gonna do is you're just gonna fold it over and you're going to stick it down. And then this part, again, is a little bit fiddly, so once I stuck that part down and get that one, this one started here, then I'm gonna grab my pen here, or my clip, and then you have to kind of hold it for a few minutes until the art glitter glue starts to set. And then it will set really, really, really nice. So then I use some of these clips. They um, were just enough to hold a little bit. There we go. It's starting to set, which is good. And then that is going to create the rest of our bunting. Okay, so then let's let that set for a few minutes. We'll just push that up there. And then I'm gonna grab my little goodie box here. So this is the one I picked for the um, decoration for the front. So I just cut the three by four cut apart out and then I cut a piece of the blue artisan cardstock. So the three by four cut apart, all I did to it was cut it out and then I um, rounded the corners. And then um, the cardstock I cut at three and a quarter by four and a quarter. So for the entire project, you'll need um, three cut aparts. And I used the three by four. The six by fours seemed too big. Um, so the three by fours work pretty good. And then just back them on the cardstock. And then we've got our other um, pretty little things that we're gonna put on there, okay? So we kind of have to wait till it's dry a little bit before we can turn it over. It looks like it's doing pretty good. I love art glitter glue, it dries so fast. So then we'll turn it over. We'll keep these kind of stuck because I really want to make sure that the ribbon stays where it's going to stay. All right, so we can turn it over here. All right, so here's our piece. So it's in the middle. So let's grab this guy. So he's going to go in the middle like that. And then I've got my flowers and I have my big flat back gems. So we're just going to simply add this to our project. And you can decorate this obviously any way you want, but I thought this was really super cute and easy. Um, and it doesn't take a whole lot of product to do it. So I'm just eyeballing that right in the middle there. Glue that down. And then my flowers here, I think they're gonna go something like that. Or maybe on this side. Hmm, maybe on that side. I think I like it. Should we do it opposite? Let's do it opposite. That'd be kind of cute. So I'm just gonna add my art glitter glue here. And these are paper flowers that I had in my stash and I just layered them. Um, and then used, I have a rhinestone brad in the middle of it. And then these blue flowers were in my stash as well. So red, white, and blue stick into the theme here. So I think we'll go like right there. And my other one here with a little pop of green leaf. Okay. There, we'll just hold that down for a minute. On the other um, buntings, I did two red and white flowers and one blue flower. So on this one, I decided to do the two blue flowers. All right. And then the flat back pearls, we're just gonna put those guys right in the corner up here. Right. Like that. 
there, just right at the top. Add a little bling to it. I liked it. And I might go back and add more bling to it. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens here. All right. There's that one. Okay. There. Done. Okay, so last thing is um, our little collage of stickers up here. So um, let's grab my sticker sheet here. And I've got these really tiny little 3D pop dots. So I just have to decide which ones I'm going to use here. Um, so let's see. Oh, I like these. That's kind of cute. So let's put one of those there. So let me take that off. Grab this little pop dot here and put it kind of up here. Cute little teeny tiny stickers are just tiny. I just love them. Um, let's do a star. I'll do that and let's see this cute little blue star. And then, hmm, how about, let's do the firework. Oops. Yeah, let's do this firework. So this one's a little bit, <coughs> excuse me, a little bigger. So I'll use two pop dots for this. Put one there. And one there. Excuse me. And there you go. So now, there you go. We've got our project. It is done. So, um, y'all, that's, that's all there is to it. So you can make as many of these as you want, um, you know, and hang them up. They're so super cute. I love them. I'm going to hang this up in my dining room, and then I'm going to go get some pictures, and I will show you. And uh, that is that. So, again... This is my uh, design team project for Country Craft Creations. And we used the Echo Park America line. And it is super cute. And again, I apologize. I'm going to cough again. <coughs> Got a tickle. Okay. So this is my project. We made um, our America bunting today. And uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Again, this is really super easy, super cute. Um, doesn't take a whole lot of paper. And it really turned out. I think really pretty. So um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you um, make it. Um, I would love to see pictures. Thanks again. Uh, I will be back real soon and we'll have another tutorial, my third, uh, using this paper collection. And um, I think you're going to like it. It's going to be a really nice one. So thanks again. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Thank you.